Hello everybody, welcome back to OCRP once again. We're doing a patrol out here in Blaine County, taking out the old Tahoe. And we're gonna be dealing with some interesting characters, that is for sure. Let's get out on patrol. 163 Metro. Right, Mercedes Benz. Go ahead. Can you start towards 01 stop, 394 Adams Apple Boulevard? Is that what I'm Following a motorcycle? way too close to the vehicle in front of him. RO. Previous arrest for a robbery, fleeing, looting. Tempo. County 513. 513. Show me 1098 morning. We'll be back tonight. Let's go. 10 4 Marine, 1 disbanded, 513 back tonight. Dispatch out of channel for now. Hey, how you doing this evening? My name is uh, Deputy Fabiano with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is uh, falling too close to the vehicle in front of you there. You have your driver's oh. license on you, proof of insurance of the vehicle? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sorry, I'm new to town. I just, just moved in. Well, I'm not, even, I'm not even moving here. I'm just visiting. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry, man. I didn't, I'm sorry. Can I, can I just apologize? Is that, is that good enough? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You have your cool. driver's license on you? Uh, yeah, I just was asking if, like, if I apologize, is that, are we good? The apology is fine, but you're still on a traffic stop with me right now. You're not free to go. Okay. Um, Great feedback. Yeah, all right, sure, sure. Dispatch back in channel. Give me a second, oh, I gotta one. find my ID. 98. Okay. Warning. Any reason why you're, like, nervous and moving around a lot? No, no. Just keep your hands out of your pockets. I'm just, just trying to get my ID. Okay. Got it, one, two, seven. One, two, seven. I'm 1050 with a uh, white Mercedes Benz out here at uh, 727 on Sonora Way. Can you just send me an additional? 727 Sonora Way with a white BMW. All right, appreciate Double. that. Mr. McVaught, do me a favor. Just remain in the vehicle. Don't get out or anything like that. I'll be right back with you, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. All right, and you have the proof of insurance as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fantastic. I'll be right back. Two, three, Valid, four, one, All right, partner. Hey, what, what are you so nervous partner. over? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not nervous, man. No. All right. You need me a favor and uh, and uh, and get out of the vehicle and come up to the front of my truck. Do, um, Hello, do I have to? Yes, I'm, I'm asking you to do that. Okay. Oh, one going back ten eight. Yeah, just hang out right in front of the push bumper here. On, on the front of the truck. Uh, all right, yeah, okay. All right, man, do you have anything illegal on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, or harm me in any way? Um, no, no. All right, just face the vehicle for me. I'm just gonna pat you down oh. for weapons, okay? Yeah, all right. You don't have anything, like any drugs or anything like that? I asked you if there was anything in here that's gonna poke me, man. This is a four inch blade here. Sorry, sorry. All right, and your phone wallet. I'm just gonna set this up here on the front, okay? Hey, man, is all there right. anything illegal in the car at all? You, you just be honest no. with me now. You don't have to go down a road of all this nonsense and no, we can be on okay. our way. All right, no, you have no, any no. problem with us looking through there and making sure that's good to go? I, I don't want you, I'd rather not. You'd rather not, okay. Dispatch out of channel for- I mean, we can get a K9 down here and if it goes around, he's gonna alert on it, then we can uh, search the vehicle, you understand that? Okay, well, what's all this about? Um, I mean, you're, you're you're following too closely, man, and you're acting One, real, three, real two, skittish and, three, and, 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 and weird on me, so that's yeah, why ahead, we're figuring out what's going three. on. Hey, uh, deputy, can you get uh, K9 down here? I talked with Larry. It's going to be the yeah, same I'm MO. They believe it's the same person. All right, person. cool. Here's However, face away from me for a second. Supposedly, the subject was shot by... Hey, you're not under arrest or anything like that. You're just being, what? just being what? detained right now, okay? What? You're not under arrest. For you. I'll be there in a minute. You're just acting okay. real nervous, and you're you're not wanting me to go through the vehicle or anything like that. What's what's up okay. with that? How come you don't want me to go through the vehicle? I just, um, I just know my rights. I understand that. And I mean, if the dog comes down here and it doesn't alert or anything like that, it's all good to go, man. Okay. I just, uh, you know, in, in my time doing this, uh, as a career, I've, I've come across people when they start acting as nervous and weird about a thing, about a normal traffic stop like you are, then that usually means something else. 
Yeah. So I just want to yeah, make sure that you know we're not we're not missing race, something very obvious in front of us away. here. And I right. and I do Thank understand you your rights, and that is perfectly fine. So I know we have a canine good unit; that they can come down here, and if if cool. all, everything yeah, checks out, man, you're good to go. You got a clean record. That's why I was just asking the question. Oh, wait, I do. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're going to be fine as long as there's no drugs in the car, man. Like, and cool. I'll return oh, your phone, right your wallet, and your uh, and Start your knife back one. to you when we're all done here. Can you start? You don't have any firearms so in the car, or nothing like that. Oh, no, I'm fine, man. I tried. <sighs> Thought I had a, a warrant. <laughs> oh, you thought you had a warrant? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not seeing a warrant in our system. What made you think that you have a warrant? Wearing your red shirt and jeans. No, I just thought I had one. 2025 on the way. Just some stuff back home. Okay, yeah, but you said you just moved. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's possible that you have a warrant back where that is, but you're not, you know, out for extradition or anything. That for you can show some route. Okay, okay. As long as there's no, uh, no yeah, yeah, that was that was my big that, concern uh, whenever I ran your information. Hey, and it didn't pop up in my face. Hey, there, this guy has a warrant or anything like that. I'm tied up on an incident. What, what would you have a warrant for, man? Something for, stupid? One two seven was requesting no. for a vehicle search. Copy. Yeah, uh, I'll advise okay. you here in a minute. Is this going to be a few more moments? We're just waiting That's for the K9 to get down here, and once he does, zero, then zero. we're going to get everything squared away. You have an uh, alien? Yeah. You have an alias or something that that warrant might be under? Yeah, I can't um, confirm if it was the one that I stopped earlier. I just have the name, the uh, one name. Black sports yeah. bike with a uh, white we, male. Can I go in my head for a second? Bag. Can you what? I just need to go in my head for a second. Okay, I do what you got to do, man. Kind of 127. 127. Yes, sir. On my end, I'm not seeing a warrant on a uh, John McVault. It's a, a common spelling. That's the subject I'm out here with. Can you just do a double check on that? Make sure I'm not missing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing anything on my end, but I'm still new to the medic CAD. I've yet to see a warrant pop up on a CAD, so I might be looking in the wrong spot. Hey, man, have you taken any drugs or are you uh, you on any medication or anything like that? No. Okay. What, what's what's with being all the, the nervous and sweating and sticking your hands in this pocket? Oh, just a second. Yeah, go for uh, 127. I have a... Uh warrant in the system for a John McVaught at a Brewer, Maine. The warrant is out of state. It's a Chesapeake City, Virginia warrant, some type of trigger treat violation from 2022. 10-4, is that full extradition? Uh, it does not say in this one. Okay, 10-4. I mean, he does. Yeah, they don't have extradition on it, so there you go. County three eleven one three two's got one detained. Hey, man, All right, man. Good, right. So uh, has one yeah, so they uh, they, they did do a check on it. You do have a warrant. It's out of uh, <laughs> Chesapeake, Virginia, I believe. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but no, no, no. Hold on, don't no, no need to freak out or anything. I, I'm just saying it doesn't say on there that it's for extradition or anything like that. So. There's only so much, uh, you know, we can go yeah, off of. And, and you're in the state of San Andreas right now. And they're not saying that they want you. So I'm just letting okay. you know you do have a warrant well, out, of, out of that spot that you thought you did. I believe oh, we have our oh, black colored flag on a traffic stop. Give me water. <laughs> water? Yeah. So yeah, I got a bottle of water. Yeah, I can get it. Here, have a, here, have a sip of water. Oh, thank you. There you go. I'm just going to put this right here on the hood. Shouldn't be too much longer. We're just waiting on the K9. He's just wrapped up right now. Go for 127. Uh, we make contact with uh, Chesapeake City, and they will extradite. All right, 10-4. All right, man. So they uh, they got a hold of Chesapeake, and apparently they do want you, so you are going to be going in for extradition. Wait, wait what? What? Yeah. This is for death. Do you even know what the war is for, man? It was something weird, I'll tell you that. God. Oh, God. Please. Wait. Johnny, I'm, not, I'm not a panic at that. Oh, God. Oh, you're going to be okay, man. Yeah, 513. Yeah, back oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. You're okay. You're okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. You're going to be okay, man. Just, just right. chill for a second, okay? Okay. All right, oh, and yeah. so now, 
now we're we, we're past the, the needing of the canine because we're going to get this thing towed and we're going to have to take inventory so did you see you want to tell us what's in the car um, um, <laughs> um, um man, if there's anything in there it's better that you just tell us man i got um i got some stuff from uh, from home Okay, what I'm kind of stuff? spots, man. Um, Do you, you need an ambulance? Units, uh, can I, clear you I don't know. From that, uh, traffic stop for now? Well, we can have an ambulance okay. come down here and check you out, man. I thought it would pop up in that section, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe you have to search warrant. it straight in. Oh, there's the warrant right there. Okay. That did not come up earlier. Or we didn't run him directly. Maybe that's why. Warrant one. There it is right there. He arrested John McVaugh violation code 1970. Trick-or-treat activities. There you go. Adult late-night trick-or-treating. Uh, so the warrant's for an adult trick-or-treating. You know anything oh, about God. that? Yeah. Wait, no. I mean, no. You didn't go trick-or-treating or anything like that? Um. Uh, um one, 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 zero, zero. uh maybe. Go ahead. Okay. Man, yeah, apparently that's no legal and illegal in a couple states uh, now. Yeah, adult trick or treating, and that's what that's for. Down. That warrant. Oh wow. Yeah, I guess he was doing something he shouldn't have been doing. Five thirteen county. Golf, golf, um, an ounce of weed. Can you start grape seed? They're in a foot pursuit. And a fake police costume here. That's cool. Uh, yeah, just one ounce of. It looks like it, it's like dirt Chip weed. I'm just gonna go and confiscate that. I'll put this stuff into some boxes. Hey man, settle down. It's gonna be okay, okay? My life's over. It's not over. It's just a little small little deal, man. Oh god. It's a small little deal. They're just gonna transfer you back to there, and then you get to have your trial, and then you're released. It's pretty much a, a opening shut deal. If I run his information yeah, on just the plate, if yeah, that comes control, back like that again. Scene, medical. <sighs> the warrants pop up if he added it. Right you have to take me in, man. I mean, why do they have to go through me? Why can't they go through the candy distributors? It's the space. It's the distributors, not me. This plate does not, this plate does not this come back. Buy some? <laughs> but that, the, the shrink candy on Halloween. They give it out to you, folks. There it is. It's a record. It's the registration <laughs> for him. When you look him up, yeah, we don't. It doesn't tell you there's a warrant on this page right here. Interesting. Hey, firm, I can get up to Sandy Yeah, it sounds like a silly one to me, man. I've never heard of that one before, so that's 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 a new one for me. We're just gonna go over here to the BCSO. One two seven, Okay. In the Sandy Shores area. Okay. Go for one two seven. On rotation, triple A tow and route two mics. Ten four. You heard that? Triple A will be out here to pick it up. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Oh. Lights off. Go up one grave C, confirming all units to our 10 4. Turn around here. Oh, God. Uh, you're going to yeah, be all right, I, dude. Can't go yeah. to jail. So here's the thing it's just going to be quick. You're, like, we're, you're going to be processed, you're going to be in a holding right. cell. And then one they're going to come and pick you up and they're going to take you back to uh, Virginia. And then uh, uh, right after that, city. they'll be able to process you and do all the stuff they do up there. And then you get your trial and then you'll be out. Okay. All right, man. So, yep. We're just going to have you go through the doors on the left hand side there. The friendly folks here at BCSO are going to help you out, get you processed and all that stuff. So hopefully you take care of that warrant. Won't be a problem from here on out, man. That was a good one. Good old Brain Gap there. If you guys want to support Brain Gap, just go over to his uh, Twitch channel, Brain Gap. B R A I N G A P. 9311. That black Camaro is heading southbound. I'm 13 from the 15th split. Something to catch up. If there's any city units available. There's one. I'll head over to uh, North 15. Front, closing. Clear. Closing. 127, I've got that vehicle. We're at uh, 722 near the way station. I've got him uh, clocked at 130. It's going to be the Bola vehicle lift, bro. Got him stopped. Final stop, 723 across from the way station, southbound lanes. Three eleven. 
copy Alpha 1 to 7. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, how's it going? My name is Deputy uh, Fabian with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Can you do me a favor and shut the vehicle off, step out, and talk with us? Oh, yeah, sure. All right, cool. All right, yeah, just head over here to the front of my truck, if you don't mind. Okay. And I got you clocked doing 130 and a 60. Yeah, man, I uh, I just got this car. You know, it's a little, it's pretty fast, so I just got a little excited with it. All right, you have anything legal on you that's gonna put me or stick me in it at all? Uh, no, man, just my phone and my wallet. So. Ross Jones is who we're looking at here, and he's got a civilian one right there. Got no uh, no warrants, anything like that. He's out of Marina, 1034, self-employed. Cool records, vehicle registration, approved, valid on the lift bro. That's what we got right here. Um, license right here is valid, four five twenty five. Looks good. That's to him. And uh, let's see, general citation for speeding, 2029 20, mile per hour overcharge. But doing 130, man, that's bad, 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 bad. All right, man. So right now you are, uh, you're going to be going to jail for the speeding, man. You, you've already got, you know, tickets in the past for speeding, uh, and this one's, you know, above 50 mile an hour over. So we're at 130. Jail for speed. Oh yeah, buddy. For that's a, a, yeah, it's a felony. Well, it could be up to a felony charge, but it's a five thousand dollar fine. And you're gonna lose your license as well. Oh, can I? Can I? Can, just, I can't lose my license, man. Any, anything but that. I mean, if you keep you keep up this this kind of speeding. It goes to a felony charge, and then I mean, then you're then you're getting jail time for it. I mean, they don't mess around here, especially, uh, you know, at these speeds. I, I I do have you clocked at 130. So the vehicle will be uh, being impounded, and you you've got a prior uh, history for speeding recklessly as well yeah i'm sorry guys i just i I, I, mean, I can't lose my license though i just that's uh it's really gonna affect me i understand that man but yeah you got priors for speeding and you haven't learned your lesson i mean you're doing 130 that's not good and here in the state of san andreas uh they they take that pretty uh, there's not really much we can do uh that you're doing 130 man i mean <laughs> Uh, if it was 80, 90, I could work with you, but at 130, no. All right, man. It's not it's nothing, man. Just got the car, so you just take the okay. deal, I guess. Looks like the dog might be alerting. All right, man. Dragging. I'll explain to you some more here uh, very shortly what we got going on, man. Did you have an alert? Yeah, positive on the driver's side. Driver's side? Okay. I'll help you go through it. I got him uh, 1015 in the back of my car right now. Perfect. Yeah, and the state, we, we go off of uh, the state of Florida. Uh, and in Florida, that is a big, big violation doing that. As, I mean, you're up in reckless driving charges. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, it is true. Uh, you can actually end up getting... It's called high-speed speeding is what they call it. Uh, and it's... Going uh, over 50 mile an hour over speed limit, it's a category of its own. Uh, do you wait on this one? Still, uh, still uh, anything. Okay. Yeah, man, I got him clocked at 130. Yeah, I got him at 112, and he was swerving in and out of uh, traffic coming from uh, Joshua in 13. Yeah, and he's got priors for speeding, so I was like, man, they're, they're, we're not messing around anymore, so that's going to so be... What did he say? He said uh, when I talked to him that he had another prior for speeding in this car. How, you know how long ago that was? Because he just told me he just bought the car. Yeah, it's 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 attached to this plate. Let me get. Oh, I, let me go back and uh, I can check it out for you. But yeah, I mean, he's looking like you know third degree felony charges on this one, and yeah, license revic. You know, we can revoke it for ten years. I'm gonna let him know what's going on with all that. Bag of white powder here. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, probably cocaine, but I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, you got a drug kit in your car? Yeah, I can test it real All quick. right, let me go talk to him. All right, man, so let me just tell you what's going on here. We're, it's a different category of speeding uh, when you're getting to these levels that you are here. Uh, and you can lose your uh, license up, you know, for a pretty long time. Um, and you, 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 could, you have some jail time going 
uh, with that. So that's why you were in cuffs right now and you're going to be going to jail for that. The other problem we have is we found something in the vehicle. It's a white powder substance in the in the left side. So you have a right to main uh, silent and then you say can use will be against will be used against you in the court of law. You write to an attorney if you can't afford one. One will be appointed by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah, man. Okay, with these rights being read, do you do wish to continue to talk to us? Yeah, that's that's fine with me. All right, so he's going to go do a uh, test on the white powder. Uh, you just want to tell me what that is? Do you know what it is? Can I be honest? Now, honesty goes a long way, man. I mean, you're kind of in, in, the, in the deep stuff right now. I mean, I was I was down on Grove Street, and there's that new that new convenience store that opened up, and uh, just asked him if there's something that could help me with my workouts, and he gave me this stuff, and I just kind of I, cr I crush it up, and I kind of snort it, and it just gets me really really fueled up and excited. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm gonna go talk with him, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Positive for speed. There it is. Oh, look at that. It's a boy. Yep, pretty much. Positive hit for that. Which, which test, test kit are you using? A reagent? Uh, I'm using it. it was, I came back for cocaine, but it's uh, coming back bright blue. Okay. Uh, it looks it looks kind of like it's uh, more of a speed type type substance. Oh, here. okay. Yeah, that. Uh, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Fine. Uh, he just told me. I, I read him, or I went ahead and uh, Mirandized him, but he did tell me he bought it. Uh, outside of the LTD down there off of Grove Street, uh, and that he crushed it up and snorted it. So that's what he's been using. So, so he's aware of it. Then. He's a hundred percent aware of it. Go ahead. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, he contradicts what he told me. Ah, okay. What did he tell you? Yeah, tempo. Told me he just got the car and he uh, he didn't know that there was he didn't he said there was nothing in it and he just got the car so. I think yeah. he realizes the jig's up, especially now that he's going to jail for the, the speeding charges that he's got going on, yeah. so he kind of gave it yeah. up immediately. Go ahead. Yeah. We'll go and secure the vehicle for tow. I don't think we have tow services on, so it will be a county tow. I'll be showing up here. And yeah, I'll t I can tell him the last time he got pulled over. Thought I could hide it. All right. Hey man, do you remember the okay. last time you, uh, you got a ticket for speeding? Traffic. Everybody have a great night. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it was, it was earlier today. Have a good one. Good night. Yeah, man. Um, you know, a third time. This is your second time. Uh, fifty over. Uh, you know, you could be you could be getting those third degree felony charges. But right now, what we're doing, we're we're just going to take you down. Uh, you're going to be getting uh, charged for for that. But the vehicle is going to be impounded as well. Am I, I going to be able to get it back? Well, you're, I mean, you're getting 12 points, basically, so it's going to be a 30-day license suspension. Um, and then if, you know, you, you get more points in, in this period, that you're going to be getting up to a year uh, of that license suspension. So you're looking at a 30-day license suspension right now. But the fact that you're doing 130 today is the reason why you're going to jail. Okay. Makes but sense I, but I'm going to let you know, if you keep doing that, man, like you're, you're looking at five years in prison, you're looking for... You know, revocation up to 10 years and $5,000 in fine. So it gets insane quick. So you really got to keep an eye on that speed. Yeah, I didn't really realize you can go to jail for speeding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah especially sure, when you're doing 130. Me out at 113 Grove Street and we'll leave with our firework friends again. All right, I will uh, take care of the car here. All right, we can have a uh, county transport unit come pick you up if you want, or uh, we can process you back at BCSO. It's kind of up to you, man. County's okay with me. Okay. Start a They'll be down here in about for, uh, five, five minutes. Two door Camaro. Okay. So we can get you out of the vehicle here and uh, we'll just have you sit over here to the right of your car. All right, man. Take care now. I'll be back tonight with one class issued for a Dylan Warner. All right. The, uh, there you go. So, yeah, I mean, he's not going to jail for the speed, per se. Uh, he is going to jail for the speed. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um,. It's, it's kind of a gray area in the state of Florida, and I'm not a real cop, so I was I have to look in the statutes for all that information. Um, but the thir I think it's the third charge he would be actually going to jail uh, with that felony suspension and all that on the third offense. But 130 uh, in the 60 is just bad news, and he would be. Uh, it, it's kind of up to us, and uh, I feel you know safe 
getting him off the roads. Yep, right here, automatic suspension, 50 year over, so boom. It is a restable charge in our system. M1 speeding, $1,000 fine right there. Jail time says set to zero. The citation release. Now northeast. Um, so there you go. Two, just struck a pedestrian, continuing That's northbound good. Eight. Then we need to add that other charge. All right, controlled out. substance, schedule two, uh, possession charge there. Uh, and that's a $20,000 bond on that. Uh, no, we're not adding jail time to that right there. Okay, cool. And I believe that is it. All right, man, I got the paperwork done. He's got the uh, the 50 over speeding charge there. Uh, and then the Schedule 2 narcotic uh, possession. Lovely. Yeah, I was just uh, waiting for you to clear. I was kind of running blocker for you. I didn't want to get hit at all. All right, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the help. Yeah, have a good one. Stay safe. You too. There you have it, dude. He's been very elusive all, uh, all evening. And we happen to be at the right place at the right time stage for that pursuit that possibly was going to kick off and uh and there you go he's going to go to jail for uh for speed on both ends yeah so i'm not you know a real police officer or anything like that so i actually have to look that stuff up uh and speeding's a new one for me that uh like high speed you know uh charge so that was different um it's kind of a gray area there's some Things where you can absolutely arrest them on site and somewhere it's like they have to be like three charged or whatever but it's in our system as an arrestable charge so that's what we're going off there but regardless it didn't matter because he had speed on him anyway um the narcotic so he's got the schedule two uh working against him so that's what we ended up going with as far as charges but yeah just want to reiterate you know i'm not a real police officer and uh sometimes i have to look up our uh our state statutes and all that. So that's exactly what we had to do there. Oh, hello. He just ran that red. Pretty certain this guy just ran that red light. One ten fifteen. I could use another unit to just figure out. I got three parties here. All right. He was thinking about going by that guy. He's falling too close. He ran the red light and he's falling too close. He's driving kind of recklessly here. Let's just get this thing locked before we do anything else. And then we get the light on. One two seven will be ten fifty out at uh, nine two one with a black uh, Nissan. Going to be uh, one occupant. One two seven from one nine seven. Go over one two seven. What's the twenty eight of that Nissan? It'll be uh, Bravo Tango Quebec five seven nine. Ten four sir, I just put out a bolo and a warrant for the owner of that vehicle, aggravated fleeing and eluding. Aggravated battery of LEO and discharge of firework and city limits. Yeah, 10 4. If you can step one up this way, that'd be great. Or anybody who wants to. It's 311. I'm right around the corner. Just confirm your location. Maybe a 92, sorry, a 917, right across from 921 uh, southbound on Joshua Road here. Right, so he's got a felony warrant, possibly, and all sorts of fun stuff. So he might take off on us here. On this skyline. Yeah, and be advised, this is a uh, skyline. Uh, so if he does take off, we might want to stage a unit there in uh, Harmony. Hey there, how you doing tonight? Hey man, what's up? Hey, my name is uh, Deputy Faviano with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop, man, you know there's a red light back there you blew through. 311, I'll be out with 127. Uh, I saw that, I apologize. Okay, yeah, you blew through that red light, and then I uh, saw you following this other vehicle up here a little too close, and then you were thinking about going around him there. What, what's the big hurry tonight? Uh, I'm just one of them late-night cruises, man. 
All right, can you do me a favor and shut the engine off and come back to the front of my my vehicle? Can I ask you why? Yeah, we need to we need to talk about everything. I mean, I don't understand why we can't talk about everything here. I mean, this is how I do it, man. Everybody does it differently. I every every time I'm talking to somebody about a charge, I'm gonna write them or whatnot. I would like to be honest with you and, and talk to you in front of my vehicle, right where the uh, dash cam is. I don't know, man. I've seen them that uh, that show cops. That that's that's usually when they arrest somebody. Well, I'm not placing you under arrest for running a red light, man. I'm just asking you for you to come back here to the front of the truck. Any reason why you don't want to? I'm sorry, man. I'm just, I'm nervous around cops, man. Okay. I got you. I mean, I got, I got another one here with me behind, uh, behind me. So. I mean, you're being polite with me, so I'm going to, I'll, I'll return the favor. That's the yeah, man I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm same way, man. I'm just, I'm going to shoot, shoot, shoot it to you straight. You're just looking right now, you know, running that red light. So unless you have warrants or anything stupid, you're, you're, you're going to be all right. Can you uh, face the front of my truck? You have anything illegal on you, man? It's going to poke me, stick me in or anything? I'm just going to check you for weapons. Just a vape. Just a vape? Me. How's it going, Mr. Reigns? Okay. Oh, it's going. And it's just for the, uh... You just got a vape on you here, that's all? Yes, sir. All right, there's nothing illegal in your car that we need to know about? Not that I know of. Okay, you can put your hands down. All right, what's your name, sir? Uh, it's going to be Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns? All right, Mr. Reigns, just do me a favor. Just hang out here in front of the uh, truck for me. You have uh, insurance on the vehicle as well? Yes, I do. All right, I'm just going to set your vape up here for right now, and then I'll give it back to you when everything checks out, okay? Yeah. Can you uh, spell your, your name again for me? Yeah, it's R O M A N R A I N E S. Uh, Metro 289. Yeah, oh, like, like, it, like rain falling from the sky. I got you. Man, oh, man, we're getting them all tonight. Pursuant to a warrant issued by the Los Santos Police Department for aggravated battery of a law enforcement officer, aggravated fleeing and eluding, and just illegal discharge of firearms within city limits. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas at no cost to you. At any point in time during questioning with or without an attorney present, you have, to stop, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time for any reason. You understand these rights five brethren to you. Holy moly, dude. Yeah, he messed up. Only just a little. You took what was a misdemeanor one and a citation and ramped it up to two felonies and a citation. Sir, is there any reason that the dog's hitting on your vehicle? Is there anything in the vehicle we should be worried about? Guns, drugs, knives, bombs, anything like that? Well, I mean, the second one. I guess I just got the magic touch. Dogs I'm getting everybody out of the vehicle and we're getting them cuffed before they take off on us. <laughs> this usually doesn't happen this way, especially a skyline like that. That's usually going to take off or the GTR. It's usually going to take off on you. What is it? Because if we start going digging around in there and we get poked by a needle or something like that, we're going to have bigger issues. There ain't going to be any needle. I'm not that kind of person. What, 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 what is it then? It's old school stuff, man. It's perp skirp and hoop nanny. Oh. I haven't seen that stuff in a while. Yeah, where where is it located? It's in the trunk. All right, I'm gonna pop that with the fob. We found the drugs. How much is it? I, I, we'll see here. All right, let's see if there's anything else over here. All right, so I just came up from where your friend was, and he had some burpster in his uh, in his vape pen. Am I gonna find any in there if I test it right now? Nine times out of ten, yeah. Nine times out of ten. 
I mean, are you smoking it, it and driving it? Is that what, what's happening? Oh, for God's sakes, yeah. All right, man. I mean, you you know that you can be uh, you can go to jail for for that as well. I mean, you have a warrant. That's the problem. But uh, you know, a, apart from the warrant, you can go to jail for uh, being impaired while driving under any substance like that. If I tell you guys who sold it to me, will that help me in any way? It's a good start, man, because, I mean, you're looking like, you know, you got a warrant charge for the uh, aggravated uh, fleeing and eluding. Yeah. And then you got drugs on you here. How much is in okay. there? Uh, let's see. 10 pounds of hoot nanny, 10 pounds of perp skirt. And okay. they're in one pound bricks. Yikes. Yeah, that's not just a little bit, man. No. So that's a distribution well, I mean, had, charge as well. I mean, I had to buy enough to last me. You're lasting? You're not going to sell that? God, no. That's all for me. How long is that going to last you? Oh, quite a while. <laughs> oh, quite a while. All right, and you're saying uh, you bought this from some ground grocery? Yeah, is that some liquor store place on i think it's one two two if i remember correctly it was some yeah. old it was some old dude and i guess his grandson i don't know who the hell that was yeah we're familiar they called none on one reporting someone for trying to buy underage alcohol oh and i got news for him too he came down there and asked me and my buddy if we would buy him a beer if he'd pay us 75 dollars to do it and i was like hell no yeah, that, that's that good on you for not doing that. Arrested. I mean, I'm that I'm not that cruel. Hey, Carl, since this is out of uh city, you guys just going to transport him? Yeah, we can do that. OK, cool. We'll just let me know you what you need from me. If you guys already have charges written up and everything there, I'll just let you take care of the paperwork. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the paperwork. Um, so you said you bought it from 122 Grove? That's correct. And uh, who did you buy it from? It was some young dude. He was, uh, let's see if I can remember correctly. It, it, all the perp skirp and hoop nanny still in my system. Okay. Um, white male, looked young, long black hair, beard, had a, I want to say a tannish uh mixed with like red color jacket i believe and he had on blue jeans um i couldn't see his uh shoes okay all right and it was an older so, gentleman too yeah he was more he is more of the geriatric type older man okay i i'm, I'm afraid for him because i don't think he knows what's going on in there he, he most certainly doesn't. He's called us numerous times for the uh, underage complaining. So I'll be right I, back. I don't. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give old 001 a call on the phone, on the telephone. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? It's uh, Deputy Faviano up here with Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, we got a subject here uh, right now that's in custody, uh, and we have some further 43 for you guys down there off of Grove Street, right around 120. One is a, a younger male, long black hair. It's got a black beard. Uh, and then an older gentleman uh, been selling uh, perp skirp and hoot nanny. Uh, and he, he's got about 10 bricks of this stuff on him that he bought off of them. So I'm just going to let you guys know down there. Is the is there someone still down here that we got to be looking for? Yeah, there's a, there's a younger gentleman. He's got black hair, black beard. Uh, and then he's accompanied by an older man. He said geriatric type dude uh, that may not even know what's really going on, but they're slinging the dope. And he's uh, he just purchased it down there. Uh, we just caught him up here in the county with it. He purchased it at a convenience store by chance? Yeah, I believe the LTD. Uh, he, no, he said something about a liquor store. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we we're right here. Okay, I'll go talk to those guys. Okay, yeah, because I think that they're the ones that sold it to him. Uh, but if you just, like, I'm just not even giving you the information on this guy unless you need it. You can just call me back. I can get it to you. Um, but I think he just wants to kind of keep his name off the record. Thank you, Deputy. appreciate you. Yeah, so, sorry, that was 20 bricks of this stuff. Not, it was 10 of each. Holy. 
20 yeah. bricks. All right. Yeah. I'll talk to him. A lot of it. Okay, man. Just want to let you guys know down there. Thanks, deputy. Yep. Have a good one. You do. All right. So sounds like they already know who that is. <laughs> hey, Carl, I got a hold of uh, 001 down there in the city, and he said he's already on scene with those two individuals. Sweet. Thank you. Not a problem at all. Thanks for the help. All right. I'm going to head no out problem. of here, guys. All right. Sounds yeah, good. I'll get the paperwork done. I'll take care of the tow. Uh, you want to turn around so we can switch out these cars here. Got lucky. Uh, yeah, Quite a few times. They're gonna people not run running from us. Up, I mean, uh, that's pretty be, unheard of. Somebody in a car like that right to now, not run from the police. I, actually, honestly, right. everybody that we've stopped to uh, not run from the police. Rains. Uh, please don't do anything like that We just again. got the magic touch, I guess. And just remember, you went from a simple firework citation to three felonies and two misdemeanors. So <laughs> just use your brain. I know you have one. Use your brain. I know you have one. That is great. Absolutely sure wonderful. Kill my light there. Unlock our plate. And away he's going to go. I'm running seven in the area. I'm not able to locate any of those vehicles at this point. Well, I, oh. seven, I just got one of them. Off the highway, initiating a traffic stop. Yeah, I can see it. Dead bull alert. Oh, two bikes. Other one's behind you. Got yeah, a bull alert on both of these guys. One to seven. Any uh, units in the Sandy Shores area? I've got two black motorcycles, both with bolos attached. Uh, with the plate, uh, dead. 127 Golf 1, uh, we're close by. Are you at 1019? Yeah, 10 for them at, uh, 1015 right now. Uh, they split up. The other one went towards Joshua Road, and, uh, I'm with one right now. That's almost at the boathouse. Understood. We're approaching Fandy now. Bolo alert on this guy. I don't I don't like the feeling of this one. I'll tell you that right now. Do not like it. Let's see what this bolo is all about. One nine seven from Records, Bolo. It's going to be false That's report of crime. Just be advised the uh, two gentlemen Hello, Clark. Red truck claiming that uh, his ex girlfriend kidnapped, fled from police. To throw them off a roof. 197 attempted to ask him the questions That's about it. Wanted for false reporting of a crime, fleeing, eluding, and providing a false name. Yeah, the gentleman here was uh, okay. stating that they were reaching against him. So, it. that's not good. Grapeseed Golf 1, 1050, 1028 Algonquin Boulevard. I believe it's going to be on one of the bikes that 127 was following. We've dealt with this guy before, obviously. Oh, what does he do? He's taking off. 127, he's taking off on me. He's behind the, uh, at 1016 right now. Just chilling. Uh, looks like he's going to be headed behind the liquor ace now. Uh, 1018. He's off road right now, coming up here to uh, Lesbos Lane, and we're going to be turning around back towards the liquor ace now on Algonquin. I believe he made a right hand turn onto Joshua Road, high rate of speed. Uh, lost eyes at this time. I think he's still continuing out in the distance uh, on Joshua towards uh, Calafia. Yeah, we lost eyes on him. Uh, last scene head towards Harmony uh, 1008. Hey, 127 from 901. Uh, Tyler Clark is who you're chasing, according to uh, his friend. We have stop here. Yeah, 10-4. That's the one that took off. They were riding together. Hey, man, you know where your buddy went? Oh, hey. Um, you want to fetch my bike off, man? It's, yeah, it's, that's fine. It's killing my gas. One, two, seven. Yeah, this will be the other subject that was uh, riding with him. Um, 
I, I don't know where he is, man. To be honest with you, I'm I'm trying to find it myself. He's not answering his phone. Okay, I got you. Uh, well, if you do see him, I mean, let him know that the police are looking for him. Oh, I, I think he knows, man. Okay, I got you. I'm sure his buddy's around here somewhere. They're going to be meeting Yeah, him. I think that's the same one we spoke with just a minute ago. One yeah. Seven, can I get you over here? Yeah, the other yeah, bike yeah, is yeah, almost yeah. identical. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Uh, did you get a description on the other guy? May have not. Uh, yeah, we already know who he is. Tyler Clark. So he's already in the system. We already know who he is, and it's a matter of time. He's just, you know, avoiding the inevitable. And what was it? What was he wanted for, Jeff? I missed the first part. Of it was that. for killed off on you. Yeah, it was the uh, attempting to, or it was a fleeing, eluding, leo. There's a whole list of charges in there if you run the uh, the bolo there for okay. dead D E A D. Terrific. Oh, that that's his plate. Yeah, that's the plate on the bolo. Great. Yep, so I wasn't getting out of the vehicle and making contact with him with anything like that. And with the uh, charges I saw there, I was just kind of waiting for a backup to get on scene, and he just took off on me. And he was, he was being cheeky, hiding in uh, alleyways and whatnot. But I'm sure we'll find him soon if he doesn't crash and, you know, skin his uh, his face up. Well, his, uh, his license plate may have more meaning if that happens, I guess, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong about that. All right, guys, I appreciate the help. Yeah, Jeff. Not a problem, man. We'll, we'll see you. Close by. <laughs> making the rookie pump? What's that? I said he's making the rookie pump? Well, he won't get out of the car so I can pump unless that oh. changed. I oh, there he is. Oh, I was taking a 911 call. So I, I was taking a 911 call. I'm sorry. Oh, Further 43 was that uh, our subject we've been looking for. He got released from a local hospital well, for a gunshot thing. wound, so I don't think we'll see him on his bike anytime soon. <laughs> Why? Go for Brad. a one two seven. Uh, did you end up catching and arresting Mr. Clark? Uh, negative. We got further forty three that he was released from a ho local hospital with uh, gunshot wounds. And for just be advised, I don't know if you're aware that he has an active follow for misuse of nine one one and fleeing and eluding. Yeah, ten four. Uh, I had him stopped and he took off from us out here, so we were in a pursuit with him. And uh, we lost eyes. 10 4, would you like me to consolidate everything into a warrant? That'd be perfect. 10 4. Awesome. Carl's going to put the warrant together for it. So he'll have a warrant out for his arrest. Nothing we can do from here. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of OCRP. Definitely the need for speed uh, <laughs> on both ends there. And uh, man, big hats off to uh, Brain Gap for that. Uh, RP we had and honestly very very surprising that uh, the skyline did not take off on us the GTR there so uh, I don't know what it was I guess I just had the magic touch everybody was listening to what I had to say and they got out of the car so uh, nobody took off on us very strange but regardless enjoy your weekend I'll see you guys next time take care